Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome to another Summer 2021 LEGO Harry Potter review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 76394, Fox Dumbledore's Phoenix. This set includes 597 pieces and retails for $39.99 where it is exclusive to both LEGO and Target. Starting off with the box art, you get your main characters at the bottom, LEGO's at the top, Split between the wings, we see the regular stuff off the side, and your minifigures at the bottom. No 20th anniversary Lego here, no golden minifigure, and no collectible wizard cards. Flipping to the back, you can take a look at some other angles of this set, and we also get some push tabs, which I'm not too much of a fan of, but still it's fine for what it is. And you also get the measurements up at the top. So yeah, that's all for the box. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Looking at the box contents, we get a total of four numbered bags to build this set, in addition to the instruction booklet, so let's take a look at that. Looking at the instruction booklet, we have more of a booklet compared to a normal instruction manual, which I also really like seeing when it comes to these types of sets. You get your QR code off to the corner, and we mimic the front of the box. From the very back, you get the wind guy, and you get the piece count for a total of two pages right there. We also flip to one of our regular advertisements featuring the Hogwarts layout for this year 2021. And I currently have reviews up for both the Chamber of Secrets and the girls bathroom. Oh wait, I mean the Polyjuice Potion Mistake set. I will be reviewing Fluffy next week, so look forward to that. And then we have our final overall model. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the box contents. So let's take a look at our minifigure and the final overall model for this set. Looking at the one and only minifigure included in this set, we get Albus Dumbledore. Now this version of Dumbledore is exclusive to the set with a new outfit altogether for the torso and legs. So looking at the character, I think the outfit is fine. It's something that we haven't seen before for Dumbledore, so I do appreciate LEGO doing something completely different. We get some printing on the legs leading up to the belt piece up to the main torso. I'll remove the beard in a minute to take a better look at that. And we get more of that orange-brown color for the outfit with a little bit of the dark red for the arms, light flesh hands for the flesh tone, as well as the wand in that dark tan color. We also get the same beard and hair piece and also facial expression that we see within the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set for this year. You can remove the hair piece to take a better look at the back printing for the character. And you can also spin around the facial expression and to see that facial expression, how it looks underneath the beard should probably be the same exact one that we saw within the CMF last year. I'm not 100% sure, but we did definitely see it within the recent Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set. So removing the beard, here's a better look at the torso printing. Really love the shine to this outfit. You can see a lot of the golden colors going on all around for that. And you can take another look at the back. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for Albus Dumbledore. Just like Hedwig that we saw last year, we get a small stand to go along with your minifigure and the miniature version of the build. So looking at the stand, we get these 1x2 jumper plates for you to stand the minifigure. And one of those jumper plates has one of the telescope pieces to support the fox mold that we even saw last year in 2020 in the CMF line. Really awesome to get another one of those. If you don't have it already, this is a really great option to get one. I also wanted to note that this is a great buying option that LEGO has presented where Fox does not come in the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set. So if you want to recreate that scene, this is the set to buy in order to get a Fox unless you still have the CMF Series 2 for Harry Potter lying around. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the stand. You also do get the option in order to actually plop it on top of a jumper plate in front of Fox. So looking at the final overall model for Fox the Phoenix, I think it turned out really nice. Not only is this a slight improvement to Hedwig when it comes to the printed pieces department, but I feel like this character translated a lot better than Hedwig into this kind of form. So I thought we'd start off by taking a look at the stand. Looking at the stand, we get a few really nice pieces here. We get these pieces in gold. Really nice to get those pieces in gold. I believe that's a new piece for this year. I'm not 100% sure. We also get a print on a 2x4 tile with Fox written there. Compared to Hedwig, that has a sticker. Really nice. We get the jumper plate for you to plop that stand with your characters on. And we have a very similar build when it comes to the angling 
used for the stand that we saw for Hedwig where we used the ball joint connections as well as a few hinge plates here and there. We also see the Technic and gear connection from the very back where you get this area that you can turn around in order to flap Fox's wings which I'll show better in a minute. We also have more of a perch going on where you can also see the little toes of Fox right there which are connected via clip piece. You also get these horn pieces in more of a silvery color for the little toenails on Fox, which I also really like that they added so much detail with that. You get the clip piece connection also for the very base of the foot, so you can actually move that around, as well as the little feet. Moving up to the rest of the build, we're going to look at the face, which I think they captured a lot better than they did with Hedwig. We get some printed one by one circular tiles for the eyes on Fox. I think the beak is fine. I don't really particularly like the coloring, but I think it looks fine for what it is. You get a lot of slope pieces for the angling. And I also really love seeing a lot of the pieces that they use in the very back of the head. You can turn it like that to take a look. You get a clip piece connection or actually a bar connection with the clip pieces for these in order to get that a little bit of hair from the very back of Fox. I really love how they did that. We also get another one of these pieces that we also saw this year within the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets for the Basilisk. Really cool to see that come in this set. And you can also turn that side to side, just like you can turn this piece side to side to move his head. I also like seeing a lot of the melon slice pieces used and a lot of the curved tile pieces. A lot of tile pieces, a lot of slope pieces to get all of the angles done for this character. You can also take a look at some of the clip piece connections for the very base of the wings and just how those are positioned. You can move these up and down as you please. We also get some more clip piece connections when it comes to the very back where the tail right there, which I also like seeing the Nexo Knight shield piece from the very back. And like I said, just a lot of different slope pieces, a lot of tile pieces and a lot of clip pieces just to get a lot of those angles done. Looking from the very bottom of Fox right here, you can see for the belly, we get somewhat of a hinge plate going on right there. It's somewhat adjustable, but it's meant to stay like that. And you can also take a look at the very base of the wings and how those are formed using a lot of the Technic pieces to get that all connected as such, which will lead to the very back where you have this option that allows you to flap Fox's wings. Very similar motion to Hedwig there, but I believe that it's slightly different. I'm not 100% sure, but I will be doing a comparison video where I actually spin these both at the same exact time. So yeah, that's really all that I have to say for Fox. Really nice character. Here's a look at it flapping from the front. And more of a higher up angle. So overall, for $40, this isn't particularly a bad set. It is kind of very similar to Hedwig, which I will be doing a comparison, as I said, some time down the line. You do get an exclusive version of Albus Dumbledore and a very nice and easy way to get the small fox mold if you want to add that to your Chamber of Secrets set. Another thing to note about this set is that we get mostly prints compared to stickers. You get a printed 2x4 tile for the name of Fox and you also get the printed eyes. And another really notable thing for those of you who care about price per piece, this set has a really nice price per piece. $40 for only 5-600 pieces. I think that's a really nice deal. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!